David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today I have something for you a little different. I get lots of questions from folks in regard to my favorite products and things that I use on a regular basis. So I thought what I would do today is show you the pen and stationery related items that I use every day. Now, this is not a list of my favorite things or things that I like to use on a regular basis. These are the items that I use each and every day. Um, after I put this list together, I noticed it contained 10 items, so that's how this became a top 10 list. So, to reiterate, these aren't necessarily what I would consider to be the best overall everyday carry items. These are the 10 items that I am currently using every single day. Now, the one thing that you will see missing from this list is a fountain pen. While I use fountain pens every single day, it's not the same pen. I rotate through my collection. So that's why you won't find one on this list. But believe it or not, you will find not one, but two rollerball pens. In order to take a closer look at my top 10 everyday carry items, please join me over here at camera two. First up, I've never been one to keep a daily planner. Uh, typically planners are, are thick and bulky and I just never saw one that really fit my needs. But then two years ago, I picked up a Hobonichi Techo and I absolutely love it. Um, I find that it fits my needs perfectly. Um, first of all, it's made from 52 gram Tomoe River paper, which is one of my absolute favorites. Um, I love the size, it's nice and compact, and it's really simple to use. Uh, there's a page for every single day, uh, I write my to-do lists for the day on it, uh, and then there is kind of a monthly overview at the top. Uh, I really like this planner. I went from someone who never uses a planner to uh, someone who really feels naked if I don't have my Hobonichi with me. I have two additional items I use associated with this Hobonichi Techo. Um, first of all, I have this leather cover from Pop-Off Leather. Um, after I picked up this Hobonichi, I knew I wanted to get uh, some kind of cover for it, one that would last for years. Uh, the main feature I was looking for was something that was somewhat thin, so it didn't uh, add a lot of bulk or puffiness to the uh, Techo, kind of defeating the purpose of the size. Um, I find this cover from Pop-Off Leather, um, it really fits the bill. It's not super thin, but for me, it's thin enough that uh, it doesn't add too much bulk. Um, and that I like that over time here, the leather has developed all sorts of kind of dings and scratches as I put this in here. You can see here all sorts of dings and scratches on the front. Um, I think that it just adds it a bit of a character to the notebook. And the notebook just slides right in. Um, it's a bit of a tight fit. It was very tight when I purchased this cover, but over the years it's loosened up a bit, which is nice. Um, and I also like the placement of these elastic rings. Uh, that serve a dual purpose. They serve to hold the pen as well as keep the notebook closed. And what pen do I use every day with my Hobonichi? That would be a Retro 51 Tornado Rollerball. Um, while I do have a few Retro 51 Rollerballs, the one that I use here with my Hobonichi Techo right now uh, is uh, this alloy edition of the system. It has kind of the uh, solar system on here. Uh, it was a version of this pen made available through Mike Dudek, the gentleman behind the Clicky Post, Post blog, as well as Dudek Modern Goods. Um, I like the tapered design of the Retro 51. Uh, that makes it really easy to attach to the closures here. It just fits right in and it makes it very easy to use and it keeps the notebook closed. Um, you know, it would be annoying. And also it's kind of nestled in here a little bit and it's shorter than the, uh, than the notebook. It would be annoying if it was hanging over the edges. And then this rollerball writes fantastic as well. It's very smooth and it writes very well on the Tomori River paper. Um, I use uh, a ro rollerball with my Hobonichi so I never have to worry about the pen. If I used a fountain pen, then I would always need to kind of make sure it's getting inked and uh, I'm throwing this around a lot. I'm not abusive or anything with it. It's just getting moved around a lot and I don't want to have to worry about damaging a nice fountain pen. Uh, and so I think that this Retro 51 will, uh, will take a beating. Uh, I also from time to time use this Joey Feldman version of the Retro 51. I really like this one. 
I, uh, I've said it before, but I think that the colors on this kind of remind me of like a 1985 Cheap Trick album cover. And there is nothing wrong with a 1985 Cheap Trick album cover. Or a very cool picture of or a very cool graphic that you'd see on a pair of Vans tennis shoes. I can imagine this design on a pair of Vans. Okay, next up, item number four. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I take a different fountain pen to with me to work each and every day. Now, until earlier this year, that involved going into the office. Uh, I had been working from home since March, so now it involves me rolling my chair uh, from one side of my office to the other side of my office, where I have my work set up located on a different desk but I still have a pen of the day. And each weekend I plan out my pens for the upcoming week, utilizing my everyday carry spreadsheet I created a while back to document my pen and ink collection and track its usage. If you'd care to check that out for yourself, I'll put a link to an instructional video in the notes below where you can uh, check, out, check that out. And it also contains a link where you can download a copy of the Excel spreadsheet for yourself. But after I have chosen my pens for the week, I put them in this. Uh, this is a four pen case from Wancher. Uh, it's called the Penfolium. I like several things about this case. Uh, that it's very soft leather. It's not too th stiff or thick. Um, you know, I've used this every day for a couple of years and it's yet to show any real wear and tear, uh, even go though it's going in and out of a com computer bag several times a day. Um, there is an inside pouch here where I keep a field notes notebook uh, and there is an outer pocket. I, I put a sticky note here uh, with the pens that I have for the week as well as the ink that's in them, uh, just so I, uh, I don't forget what ink is every in every pen. Uh, then there is a little protective flap and the case holds four pens. Uh, now, uh, there is, uh, you know, the slots are rather large and can accommodate any pen in my collection. Even something large like a Danny Trio or even a Namiki Emperor will fit in here. Um, typically at the beginning of the week, I have the four pens in there. And then a fifth one is typically kind of clipped to the side of one of these pockets. And then as the week progresses, uh, at the end of each day, I'll return that pen of the day back to where it's stored. I am shooting this video on a Wednesday, so the uh, three pens have been used and only two remain. Uh, this one is going to be Thursday's pen and this one is going to be Friday's pen. Uh, and then also typically the one that I uh, show on Friday or the pen I used on Friday is the one that I'll be doing a review of over the weekend. So I don't think you could tell what that is. I guess we'll leave it a little bit of a surprise. You know, I'll show it a little bit closer. But the one here is the pen that I'm going to be reviewing this weekend that uh, I think is very unique and something that I've had for a while. And I'm glad to be getting around, around to a review of, of it because I think it's a, an underrated pen that deserves a little bit more attention. Uh, but this is my four pen case that I use every single day. Next up, whenever I have a Q&A, one of the most commonly asked questions is how do I use my pens? Uh, there are times in this digital age that you have to make a concerted effort to use analog items. Um, while at work, I take a lot of notes and I have many different projects to keep track of. And while I do manage them digitally, I also like to manage them on paper. And that is where this Rhodia A4 top bound notebook comes into play. Will it fit here? Okay, well, we'll do it on here. You get the idea of how large it is. But um, these top bound notebooks um, are uh, really nice paper. It is a coated paper uh, and it's very receptive to fountain pen ink. Um, I, I do like how the top folds over. The top folds over like this. And then this is actually my pad for work. And you can see every single day I have my to-do list. And typically it starts off with a nice clean list. Uh, and then by the end of the day, I've crossed off all the things that I need to do for the days. And then bring over the things that I didn't get accomplished to the next day. And so every single day I have uh, a new list uh, of what I need to accomplish. Um, but that one, it gives me an excuse to use a fountain pen. Uh, and it gives me an excuse to, uh, to write with a fountain pen. Um, and that, uh, you know, I really like the way that these notebooks feel. I like the paper of them. Uh, and that, you know, I, but I don't just carry this notebook around by, my, by itself all day long. I utilize something else. 
which is this. This is an allegory pad folio. And this is something I absolutely adore. Not only do I use this every day, it's something I carry around with me all day long. Um, I love the leather on this pad folio. Um, all of the scratches and wear have really given it a lot of character. Now, I will admit, now, first of all, you know, this is the main orientation, but I'm trying to get it to fit on camera. Uh, there are a lot of features of this that I really don't use. I don't use these outer pockets at all. I don't use this zippered pocket. Um, you snap this open and inside there is a couple of pockets here. I have some business cards, but there's a flap here that I really don't use. And I really don't use this zippered pocket at all. But there's an area here where you can slip in an A4 pad. And what I do is I go ahead and turn this pad, the cover of the pad around, and then I go ahead and slip it in here, just like that. And then this is how it fits in here. And then what I do on a regular basis is I actually, every day, I'll fold this over, and hopefully you can kind of get a good look at how I'm doing this. But I fold this over and then I fold this back like this and that I go ahead and snap it shut because it kind of snaps back on itself. And I snap it shut and then this is how I use the pad folio all day long. And that I'll just go ahead and set it sideways so you can see it. But this is how I use it. And one thing that I've really noticed is that even though I'm carrying this thing around all day, I'm holding it here and holding it here as I'm carrying it around the office. Uh, over the years that I've had this, you really don't see a lot of discoloration in here. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm just good about keeping my hands clean, but I really enjoy this allegory pad folio. It's one of the things that I get the most use out of each and every day. And it's kind of become a part of me. At work, I am rarely seen without this item. Next up is the Dudeck Cubes. Uh, you can see them sitting on my desk in just about every video. They're usually behind my right hand shoulder uh, and that I just love these things. Um, they are made from walnut, I believe, and they are created by Mike Dudek, the gentleman behind the uh, Dudek Modern Goods, as well as the Clicky blog that I mentioned earlier. Um, I have two of these cubes on my desk here at home, and then at my office at work, I have another one that's a different style. It's kind of the shape, the size of uh, two of these, and it has some holes, and then it has a slot, and I put like sticky notes in it. And so there's a few different styles of these. Um, for the ones here at home, I keep my upcoming review pens in them, as well as a few favorites that I have out on a regular basis. Um, I like the fact that they're very simple and very straightforward. Um, the craftsmanship is outstanding. And, you know, some people look at these and just say, hey, it's just a block of wood with some holes drilled in it. You know, I could do that myself. And, you know, you might be able to, but even though uh, I have the tools, if I tried to make something like this, it wouldn't come... Uh, close to looking this nice. Um, these are not currently available on the Dudek Modern Goods site. Lately, Mike has been making his products in batches every few months. If you're interested in these or any of his other products, I recommend getting on his mailing list so you can be informed when the next batch will be available. Mike does some great work and I absolutely love these cubes. Another desk item I use every single day is the Good Made Better Penwell. Uh, if you haven't seen these previously, they turn just about any pen into a desk pen. There's some material on the bottom that when you have it cleaned off uh, and you have a flat surface, you can affix it to there and it will stick and then you can pull it up whenever you want. It doesn't damage the bottom and it doesn't damage the material. There's a little foam insert in here. And then, for example, you could stick in this Pilot Custom 823 and then what I do is I go ahead and unscrew the pen and then just having it sitting in there. Uh, and so then whenever you want to use it, you could just pull it out and then you could just set it right back in. And if you want to take it out, then you could screw it out and then undo it. I, I find that it, it really helps uh, on a regular basis, uh, especially for clipless pens uh, or if there's one without a roll stop, uh, having it in here prevents it from rolling around on your table or on your desk. Um, I utilize this metal version at home, 
Uh, they also come in a number of different materials like acrylics and woods, but at my office, I use this version here. It's made of aluminum and is called the Penwell Traveler. Uh, and it's just a little bit of a different shape, but it's the same concept. And I have this on my desk at work and use it uh, every single day and it functions the same. Uh, I enjoy both of these and get a lot of use out of each of them. Okay, two more items. Uh, next up, while I have my pen of the day, which is my main fountain pen for the day, I am typically also testing out a number of other pens, uh, mainly for future reviews. And when I'm testing out pens for review, I like to have something with me where I can write down my thoughts. And that's where the Galen Leather A5 Zip Folio comes into play. Um, this is something I have with me all the time. Uh, I'll keep a few pens in here, which I am testing out. Uh, this does hold uh, an A5 notebook of just about any, uh, any manufacturer's A5 notebook will fit in here. Uh, and that this is compact enough that I can take it out and about with me and I'll generally write my reviews in this notebook. Uh, you know, let's say I'm going somewhere and I, I might be sitting around for a while. Rather than just playing around on my phone, I'll bring this with me and work on a review or two. Uh, the slots here are very accommodating for pens of all sizes. Uh, even very large pens can fit in these large slots right here. Um, I like that the fact that the zipper is very heavy duty. You can see that's a very heavy duty zipper. Uh, and that, you know, it even has, it comes with an evil eye to ward off evil spirits. So I got that going for me as well. Um, it has, like with the other leather items I have, it's gained a lot of character over the time I've used it with lots of uh, kind of different scratches and marks and wear and tear. And I just think it really adds to the character. Um, I think it looks really nice. It's functional. So that's a pretty good combination. And finally, the last item I use each and every day is another rollerball pen. I told you that there'd be two on this list. And this one is the Tactile Turn Side Click. Um, not too long ago, I reviewed this pen. Uh, ever since then, it's been a mainstay on my desk here at home. Uh, I love the side click mechanism. Uh, it's just fun to play around with. You push it and then push the little side click mechanism here to... Uh, to make it uh, to retract and to extend the point. Uh, you know, I will, I, and also I love the grooved body of this pen as well, which is kind of a, a, a fundamental basic uh, thing that you'll find on virtually all tactile turn pens. Uh, you know, if I'm needing to jot down a quick note, especially on a sticky note or something like that, I'll use this pen. Um, I'll use, also use it to address envelopes. Many times the envelopes I use aren't really fountain pen friendly. Uh, and so I find myself using this to address envelopes more often than not but it has a home on my desk uh, here at home. And typically it's right under one of my moderns, uh, monitors or right in one of my Dudek cubes. Will Hodges, the man behind Tactile Turn, makes some great pens, uh, both fountain and rollerball. Uh, if you hadn't already, I would encourage you to check them out. Okay. Those are my top 10 everyday carry items. I hope you enjoyed getting a closer look at the things that I use each and every day. I'll put a link in the notes below to reviews I have of these items. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've reviewed the majority of them, but there are a couple I have not. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.